Welcome to Watching Our Watersheds, or WOW, interactive maps that help you to explore the creeks and watersheds of Santa Clara Valley. Did you ever wonder where your neighborhood creek comes from, or where it goes? Or what the valley looked like in the 1800s? WOW puts it all together for you in maps of past and present overlaid in Google Earth. We are zooming in on the present day map to the city of San Jose. The map shows you today's creek network, including natural creeks and blue lines, engineered channels and red lines, and underground storm drains and brown lines. Only the larger creeks, channels, and drains are shown. Notice how the network of storm drains is connected so that it can drain water from the streets and neighborhoods into the creeks. The transparent colors on this map indicate the watershed, or the land that drains into a particular creek. The green shaded area is the Coyote Creek Watershed. Click on it to learn more. The navigation tools on the screen will let you zoom in and out, move in any direction, rotate, tilt, and by combining tilt with forward motion, fly over. If you need help, check the user's guide included in WOW. The user's guide also gives you more information on the map layers and includes answers to frequently asked questions. The colorful dots are icons that you can click on to learn more about places to visit, stream stewardship projects, history, and special animals and plants. Now we'll go to the places list and click off the present map and click on the past. The WOW past map shows the historical habitats and creeks on the valley floor, drawn from research by the San Francisco Estuary Institute. These maps will transport you into the landscape of the 1850s, a time when many newcomers were exploring and settling in the rich lands of Santa Clara Valley. Each transparent color represents a different habitat, such as oak woodland, oak savanna and grassland, wet meadow, and riparian woodland. As you can see from the Google Earth photograph, most of these valley habitats have been lost to urbanization. It is fun to click on both the past and present maps together to see how much the creek network has changed in 150 years. The past maps cover only the valley floor, but the present maps extend up into the hills to cover the entire area of each watershed. Now that you know the basics, let's take a tour of Guadalupe Creek and the Guadalupe River from the mountains to the bay. Guadalupe Creek starts on a high ridge in the Santa Cruz Mountains. From here, small creeks tumble down mountain canyons to form bigger creeks. All the land in yellow belongs to the Guadalupe River watershed. Here, the main creek flows into the Guadalupe Reservoir, shown in bright pink. The reservoir is formed behind the dam, which backs up the water into the creek valley. Click on this yellow dot to learn about steelhead trout. Guadalupe Creek makes a turn to the right and enters the flatlands, with its underground storm drains carrying the runoff from the neighborhoods into the creek. Alamitos Creek, flowing through the pink watershed to the right, will join the Guadalupe Creek to form the Guadalupe River. They join at Almondon Lake, an artificial lake held by a small dam. 
The dark blue dot will pop up to show the Santa Clara Valley Water District's fish ladder, which allows fish to swim past the dam. Now that we are in the valley, let's turn on the pass to see what the valley looked like in the 1800s. The light blue lines show the original pattern of the two creeks, surrounded by grasslands and oaks. The city of San Jose was founded along the banks of the Guadalupe River. Today, large bypass tunnels, shown in brown lines along the river, prevent the river from flooding downtown. In the 1850s, large forests of willows, shown in bright green, lined the west bank of the river for several miles. Click on the red dot to see a map of these forests. The lower reaches of the river flow in a straightened, engineered channel shown in red quite different from the river's natural meandering course shown in light blue. The Guadalupe River flows into the bay beside the historical town of Alviso, a late 1800s port for shipping local grain and produce to San Francisco. From Alviso, the river flows through former tidal marshes, vast complexes of marsh grass, meandering sloughs, and small ponds. The marshes were diked in the 1900s for salt evaporator ponds. Many of these ponds are now being restored to tidal marshes. The pink dot will show you the view from the salt ponds taken from a kite. We hope you have enjoyed the tour. Download WOW from the Santa Clara Valley Water District website to explore your favorite watersheds in Santa Clara Valley.